Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you once again. My name is Nikhil all the way from India. So we are going to explore some most commonly used AngularJS directive for portal development one by one. So let's go ahead. So let's begin with ng app directive. It is used to initialize the AngularJS application. And before that, I would like to remind you that if you didn't watch my previous video, I recommend you to watch that so that you can aware that how we can use uh, Angular JS in UI pages. And here I am using Angular JS in UI pages because we can have a crystal clear about all the Angular JS directive and all the functions which we are going to use. So let's go ahead. So as you know, I have already created one record in UI page. So the name is learning angular JS. So basically this ng app is used to initialize application that only we can write the syntax of angular JS inside that particular element which is using this ng app so let's create one uh, div element and let's initialize angular js application for this div element and here i just want to create one input element type text okay and i need one line break and here uh, there's a, another directive called ng model which is basically used to bind the input element with angular js variable so my underscore text this is just the variable like we create in javascript like this my underscore text equal to input dot value okay and just below uh, let me use this h3 tag and here to display the data uh, from the angular js variable we can use this expression so opening curly bracket closing curly bracket two times my underscore text and just uh, save it okay uh, something Mm, div must be think. let me let me remove this should not happen maybe due to some tag let's see this input element I am already closing think uh, let me remove this okay I think the tag I suppose to write like this. <laughs> okay, let's save it. Let me duplicate uh, this window and let me execute by clicking this try it. let me zoom out and if i type anything we are learning angular chase directives so you can see 
how powerful it is. Let's create our own application. And here the most remarkable and noticeable thing is that one application might have more than one controllers, but one controller have only one application. So let's create a controller and application here in the client script. So to create an application, uh, let me create one variable app equal to angular dot module and application name my my underscore app and the second argument here i just want to keep a blank it will take a dependencies if you want to inject a jquery or others plugins you can inject but uh, this is not required right now so let me create app dot controller and my discord controller one okay and here the second argument will be the function or an array so i recommend you to use this way in this way first we have to tell that what all service or an object you want to use so for scope okay i will tell you what is this and second value into this array function And this function will be responsible to control the transitions of data for this controller. Okay. And here, see if you want to use this, you have to specify here also scope. And let me create one scope dot course like this okay angular js okay and i just want to remove this and let me use this Let me use this application. So ng app and our application name is my underscore app score app and inside that I want to create another div element to demonstrate that one application might have multiple controllers. So ng controller. See, all our directive. Uh, this is for to initialize controller of uh, this application. So our first this is this controller name. I want to copy and paste here. And inside this, let me use this h1 tag. So inside this, we can access this variable, okay? But here, friend, uh, we don't have to specify this scope, okay? We don't have to write like this scope dot course. So whatever the variable. Or properties you will attach with this scope object that we can access inside the controller and uh, 
uh, this variable we can access inside this controller only because this course okay is the variable for this controller so let me save and i just want to print outside also so that you can aware that we can't access that variable outside the controller save it you could see the spelling here controller okay let's save it okay, let me refresh great now it is showing angular js and you can see this value outside uh, from this controller is not showing because we can't access this course uh, variable value outside the controller because this course variable is part of this my controller one and again if you create a different controller okay and like uh, let me create one and i'll say scope dot platform say choosing service now ps okay so and uh, let me copy this again and paste here this is my controller 2 let me change this to my controller 2 let me copy this okay same here you can't access this uh, course into this controller area but if it was a child then we can access let me save it first and i will show you see angular js using service now pas okay platform as a service but if I will try to access this course, we can't access as I told you earlier. But let's suppose if it was child of this controller, then you can use this variable inside the parent controller. Okay. And uh, let me we can say this is the parent and this is the child uh, accessing parent variable value my variable value okay and save it now friend you can see this is the value of parent controller and this is also the value of parent controller but we are able to access inside only because uh, this controller my controller 2 is inside this parent controller that's why we are able to access this course value inside child controller and the platform it has its own property platform into this scope object that's why we can access to
add on let's check with ng in it which is used to initialize variables and let's see what all types of variables we can initialize using ng in it directive so for that inside this my controller one only i'm going to create a variable so i would like to comment this line number seven to line number 12 okay and while execution this person will be skipped so let me create a variable here using ng init directive ng and it so my name okay see again if i'll use this double code and if i'll type here my name okay, gutta it will cause error because within the double uh, double quotation Again, if you are using double quotation, then it will cause error. To get rid of what we can do, we can use a single quote. And same uh, vice versa, if you are using single quote outside, then you have to use double quote inside. If you are uh, initializing this string type of variable. Page 24 and skills so this is an array inside string of an array so html css you can see Mm, okay, blur chase snow platform. So you can say integration and much more. Okay. So I just want to access uh, this variable inside this div element only. We can access outside uh, this div element also because whatever the variable you will create okay, using this ng init directive that will attach into scope object of controller wherever you are uh, using this. Okay, Right now we have uh, this my controller one inside this we are in uh, using this div element uh, so that uh, this variable will be attached into a scope object of this controller okay i will show you before let me print this okay so name space and as you also know that uh, we, you don't have to specify dollar scope dot my name Huge mm. any we can take. Uh, let me print uh, this skills outside this element so that it would be clear for you that we can access outside also, but not outside the controller. Okay. So uh, let me save. It will hope it would saved and go here and let me refresh. Ding. 
Please do not save. Okay, okay. So something here we have missed is that uh, this div closing for this controller div element close. So let's save it. Okay, let's refresh this page. Okay, so we are able to access that array outside that div element wherever we have in slides. But again, to let you know that can we access this variable here? Yes, we can access, but for that you have to uh, create some button after clicking that uh, you can access because see here first your server script will be run then your client script will be executed then only your HTML your template will be rendered but here at the time of template rendering we are initializing we are creating this variable so before that you can't access okay at the time of this template rendering you are creating this variable so before that if you will try to access let me show you uh, this scope dot my underscore name maybe it will show you undefined okay and if i will refresh this See, it is showing undefined. So, how we can access after template rendering? Okay. Uh, let me create a button here. And I'll say prompt my name and okay and let me make you visible for you ng click is also directive to execute the function of controller okay so so underscore it's up to you so underscore my underscore name okay so this function we have to define inside the controller okay scope dot paste uh, no not like that <laughs> so underscore my underscore name the function I just want to uh, use one thing uh, for now. Let's use alert. Scope dot my underscore name. Okay, and So let's save it. Me refresh it. Okay, so here prompt my name. If I'll click this, see now we are able to access because after template rendering we can access because at because at the time of uh, template rendering we are initializing and creating that variable. So friend, let's learn about ng include, which is used to include HTML templates. Okay, so let's go here and let me copy all this. 
इसके एंड सो विद इन दिस एप्लीकेशन ओके लेट्स क्रिएट अ वन टेम्पलेट ओके टू क्रिएट अ टेम्पलेट because we are using ui page so we have to follow this approach to create a template i will show you how to create a template uh, with widgets also uh, keep patience script and type the attribute you have to specify here text slash ng template and here id is uh, most important to access this template you have to access through id only so temp1 okay like this and let me type something here Uh, it's just demo to create template okay the benefit is that friend uh, we can use this uh, template again and again whenever required means we are creating a reusable html template okay and wherever it requires to us we can call that so this is outside uh, this controller but again this is the template we should able to access inside div class and using this directive include ng include we have to specify the id name inside the single code okay please Notice this uh, syntax. Okay, inside the double code, I am again using this single code. And uh, let's copy this and paste here. And let's save it. Okay, and uh, let's go to check the output. refresh okay it's, you could see it just demo to create template okay so let's suppose i want to reuse this template again and again for that i would like to introduce another directive here ng repeat which is used to iterate an array object okay so we create one scope dot favorite underscore fruits okay and like can say mango c grapes watermelon and i just want to uh, i can access uh, this array inside this controller my controller one and let's use one div element and let's use that ng repeat directive okay so the syntax is that first uh, you have to write the variable name you can say fruit so from where you are fetching this fruit okay in fruits means one by one the value from this fruits array will assign to this fruit variable and that we can 
access uh, we can print inside this we can do some particular operation by using that uh, fruit so let me copy cut from here and paste inside this okay and before that i just want to uh, write like this one my favorite fruits okay and see i'm using this template inside this my controller one so the variable which are associated with this controller can be accessed inside this template also okay so instead printing this message let's print which uh, to the fruit okay the fruit variable we can access inside this ui and just save it let's go here and refresh okay my favorite fruits okay let's see why um, let me check my controller one scope dot okay okay so here the variable name is favorite fruits not the fruits okay my bad let me save it still it is not showing spelling here fruit not the fruit I did lots of mistakes. Hopefully, so now you could see. Okay, the same template we have used four times for to print this first element of an array, to print second, to print third, and the last one. Okay, so this is how. You can use a template, and now it becomes reusable. So let's create a template inside the widget. Okay, for the widget from the application navigator widgets. Service portal widgets under the service portal. Uh, Should be a one demo. Let's create one widget, okay? Demo widget and demo underscore widget ID. Let's save it. And if you didn't watch my previous videos, I recommend to watch that so that it would be clear for you to understand what is widget, what is the difference between widget and widget instance, what is what are pages in service portal, what is portal themes, everything. I have covered everything. So let's open this in editor. Okay, and you could see under the related list you have this angular ng templates okay uh let's click this new i will copy this same okay this fruit here okay and i just want to paste here and let's uh give id name this temp one okay <laughs> same Uh, we can say fruit name template. Yes, we can say fruit underscore name underscore template. 
and just submit okay and just refresh it by doing that wait for a while you will get uh, this drop down see from here also now you can edit so here we have C right and here we have we had uh, this is scope object so let me copy this so this time I'm going to use this C instead of scope we can use scope also but to demonstrate that the difference okay and I've copied that and let's go here and just copy this okay so the ID name is fruit name template okay so instead fruit underscore name underscore template okay and I will show you the difference between scope and then C so let me save it first okay let's let me enable preview so you could see only this first Uh, this h1 element message my favorite fruits is showing but the name of all the fruits are not showing here the reason behind because we have in slide using this c okay so we have to specify that object here c dot okay so that is the difference between while using with scope and C. Let's save it. Nice. Okay. In addition, let's discuss about ng bind which is used to bind the controller object variables into HTML text element. For an instance, I just want to create variable uh, for this my controller one. So scope dot my underscore text to okay this is the same text which I have copied from here and because we have created this variable for this controller so that we can only access inside this controller only outside this controller we can't access this my text variable so let's go here and maximize it and all this let me comment okay and h2 see here i am using h2 so that it can be visible for you on the screen if i'll use a p tag then it will show small text ng bind Till now, we were uh, binding using this expression, okay. But we are learning this directive, so using this attribute ng bind or directive, we can mention from where we have to bind the value into this ht element. So my text okay and just save it
and hope the variable name is same okay my text my text okay let me refresh this okay so it is used to bind the controller object variable into html text element okay so let's suppose the variable from where we are displaying this value uh, might contains html element html text also so let's be here ng bind okay this is the html text which is used to show the text in bold format ng bind okay and if i'll save it so you could see this html text is not parsing to parse this html text we have another directive called ng bind html but if i'll use in ui page okay if i'll use here ng bind html and let me save it let's go to check the output if i'll refresh you can able to see that that text is not appearing let me check why i'll click inspect angular says that it is insecure me new tab see attempting to use an unsafe value in a safe context why it is saying because the developer okay uh, any hacker can use a script tag and still data so to avoid this is not allowing to render that html content but here it will work so with widget it will work let me copy this variable okay and let's create variable i just copy that line of code here and here see right now we are using this scope object so that while using variable into html template you don't have to specify like this c dot favorite fruits you just have to write my text you can write my text and uh, above one let's comment so above lines let's comment and let me copy this this our widget paste here and just save it So let's click preview icon to check the output now you can able to see this a uh, text ng bind has been passed so this is the difference between ng bind and ng bind html so friend let's learn about ng repeat and I would like to include ng if as well while learning ng repeat directive. So let's go ahead. Let's go to a UI page. So here, friend, just after this form, if I will click the subscribe button, 
I would like to show the list of the user who has already subscribed the channel. For that, let's uh, go to our controller function and we have this function right subscribe and whenever we click that button to subscribe it should add the user into subscriber list array and this time we will add object value not just the simple okay so scope dot subscriber underscore list okay so this is an array and the second most important thing is that while adding new subscriber okay it should check that the user we are trying to add is already being in the subscriber list then it should not allow right for that let's create one function to check check get index okay and into this function we will pass two argument the array and the email email which we are submitting to be added into subscriber list so so right now we don't know the index so let's initialize with negative minus one value so as many object values it will have into this area that many times i will repeat i will execute this for loop to zero and i dot length and one by one it will check the email it will check uh, with the existing object emails is matching with this current email which we are trying to be submitted so if this condition will match it will break the execution it will stop the execution of this for loop so to stop that we have this break keyword and before that it will assign the index into this index variable okay and after that only we have to do here is that we have to return this index value that's it and so i will check here if get index okay and so we have this area and the current email from the input element dot email if you didn't watch my previous video i recommend you to watch so that it would be clear for you to understand what is this scope here okay and why i am using this email because we have binded a variable called email okay using this ng model which is used to bind the angular js variable into input element so that whatever we will type that will be assigned into this email variable and if If the entry will not form, that means we can add into the subscriber list. So let me copy this and dot 
push that to add an object so see you can directly add in this way so email scoop dot email right and subscription date subscription underscore date you can see date dot now no there's no error this thing just because okay just because of this indentation else okay uh, and not only that I'm going to create one variable scope dot title okay scope dot subscriber underscore list underscore title I will change the title dynamically can see your channel has been subscribed by concatenation this many numbers of users okay numerous users dot length Uh, viewers uh, users we can say okay okay and but see I just want to create one variable to show error message as well scope dot error underscore message okay scope dot error message and for the default it should be empty string and here it will show empty otherwise it will say this user is already in subscribe subscriber list button uh, bucket okay already in subscriber list bucket bucket <laughs> bucket, bucket. <laughs> So we have error message, we have titles, let's go to HTML section and just below H2 let's find the title into this H2, H2 text element. So to bind we have this ng bind directive and we have to bind this subscriber list title. Okay, it will show dynamic title. And before that, ever form span okay, a p element, whatever. I will check ng if if an error will occur okay how error will occur if we are trying to aid the user who since if we are trying to aid the user who are already in the subscriber list bucket then this error message will show here I will check that if 
if there is a value inside this error message then so this p element message okay and the color red okay and again in bind this error message so after that below right let's create a div with the class name subscriber underscore list okay. and below let's repeat uh, this p element as many records you will have into that subscriber list array so ng repeat equal to is info in subscriber list right Okay. and as i already told that whatever the value you will attach using this scope object we can directly access by the name of variable you don't have to specify scope dot subscriber list okay scope dot uh, is info like that you don't have to specify and below let's create a one span tag span and in bind ng bind is info dot email okay because one by one we will get the next object and each object will have this property email and this property will have value so whatever the value it will have that will appear save it I'm directly writing the code I don't know if error will occur let's see click it the same page and let's click this try it so abc thread gmail.com okay your channel has been subscribed by one user if i try to add this user is already in subscriber list bucket. Nice. I will try to add the next user. EF at the red gmail.com. Okay. Now it is allowing me to add next entry. So friend, hope you understand. So I just want you to do a one use case. Just create a function to delete uh, the entry from the subscriber list. How you can achieve that? You just show one wrong cross font or some icon here or a button. So whenever we will click that, it should remove the element from the subscriber list. Okay. Hope you all are enjoying watching my video. And if you really enjoying, please give a thumb and comment. So let's discuss about ng model. It is used to bind the controller object variables into HTML input elements. So let's go to the UI page and let me maximize HTML field let me comment this again okay and here i just want to 
create one form okay and i would like to introduce a new directive called ng submit which we can use with form element by saying that whenever i will click this submit button this function should be executed so ng submit and i'm saying that subscribe please right and just we can say subscribe only okay and let me create one div with the class name form group hopefully it would support bootstrap also so form group and inside this input type text okay uh, for now let's keep it as email placeholder someone at the red gmail dot domain like this and here also we have to specify the class called form controller okay and just below just want to create uh, I just want to create a button here only okay so button type would be submit and here we have subscribe okay and so we have to bind this input element with controller scope object variable for that we can use ng model So email like this okay and let's minimize this and let's go to the controller section and let's create a function here which is scope dot subscribe and okay and i just want to alert that scope dot email plus subscribe your channel like this okay And let's save all this. Let me duplicate. Let me open in another tab the same page and to click this try it button to check the output. Okay, so. So this bootstrap thing here not working controller okay we'll check zoom first and type anything anyone third gmail.com okay if I'll click this subscribe see anyone gmail.com subscribe your channel 
so friends let's discuss about ng so which is used to show an element based on provided boolean value so for that i am going to take a simple example so that it will be easy for you to understand and by using all this directive you have to think and you have such capacity to design complex ui so let's go ahead so right now we have this form okay uh, let me add a title above h2 uh, add like this add subscriber right and let me wrap into div element let me wrap into div element and here i am going to use that ng so but above uh, this div element let's create uh, a checkbox which is used for to show and hide this form So form okay and in put type checkbox as you already know that we have one directive called ng model which is basically used to bind angular js variable with input element so ng model and can say so okay so and let's go form the value uh, from this input element will assign to this so form variable so let's use this okay here and let's uh, save it and uh, let's refresh it okay so let me zoom so you could see okay and at the gmail.com okay so this is how you can use uh, this ng so which is uh, basically used to show an element based on provided boolean value and this ng hide is just opposite to this like if i'll use that ng hide here okay uh, ng hide so for that i have to in this let's have uh, some space and person uh, else uh, what we can do we can wrap this text inside this span element and we can use the property called margin right so margin right um, 10 peaks let me save it okay we got okay we got this space and you can see this hide form is also working so friend in addition let's discuss about ng class directive which is used to dynamically add css classes for that uh I am going to use a widget editor and the widget uh, which we have already created if you remember so inside the HTML template let me create one parent div by specifying class name 
tabs container and inside this div element i am going to create a three child element okay and class name but this time frame i am going to use ng class okay and the first class will be common so that is tab in the second class we will add dynamically uh, that is active okay and it is the active class how we will add mm, we can say that if we'll create one uh, client script variable here c dot active underscore tab will do uh, by default empty okay and we can say c dot active underscore tab if equal to this a model okay like this says for model and second for view basically this tab once I will click specific uh, one specific tab it will show the definition of like uh, model and view and the content i will copy from here okay view okay and same here controller Okay, and hmm. so all we have to do here is that we have to use one directive called ng click right and we can say c dot active underscore tab equal to we can specify this uh, model view and controller like this okay so by default let's keep it as model okay let's go to the css section and let's copy this class name and let's say that with uh, 300 peaks okay and and display flex the reason behind i am using this display property flex so that all the div element inside this parent tabs container will be so next to each other because the default direction of a flex property display flex is row i will say if i'll save it let's see is appearing so you could see model view and controller so inside that we have one common class for the child tab right 
uh, let's specify the height 30 px and width see uh, which we don't i don't want to specify because i just want to divide that all area into three part for each child element for that we can say flex one means we are divided into three division three fraction okay so whatever it is basically saying that take the space into fraction okay divide into three parts and one part will be available for one div element okay and let me save it to make you clear once you will see the output so you could see right and the line height to align the text vertically center like uh, writing a uh, writing a text inside one row page row 30 px and say text align center okay not only that uh, let's specify the color and font size color will be black yes. the font size think one point uh, let's specify 1.8 rem based on the parent font size it will take 1.8 rem root element okay so you could see model view controller but it is no it is not look it's not looking like a uh, we can say tab right for that let me give a gap 2 px and let's specify border left 1 px solid E E E and same top and right R G S T So you could see okay this model view and control and front size I think it is too big okay so the active class right here what it will do it will change the active the color into suppose a uh, blue let's see whether it is working or not so right uh, right now you could see this model the by default we have uh, set uh, this active a uh, model type right and if i click view you could see controller model view control okay that's good 
and it is profit Q control and just below I just want to add one line here this is also perfect So let me create a content below to display div tab content right tab content and the tab contents container so this will have a class tab content okay and here we can see so this element if this condition will match okay we can use ng if as well but okay this is fine model okay and h3 Copy this, let's go here and paste. Now we can say what is model, same for view. What is few and to display this we have to change this to view and we have controller and then we have to change this to controller right and let's copy the definition of view and controller so it is display contents so just a simple definition we have and this controller let's save it so you could see it is showing what is model if i click view it is it will show view and if i click control it will show controller okay that's good that's good but uh Tell this tab contents container just again the same we have to specify here the width standard px save it and padding i would like to specify padding 10 peaks that's it h3 color black 
and the p element inside that color little bit lighter black so now you could see the view and the controller model view controller that's good model view controller so hope you understand how to use how we can use this okay so friend this two part uh, we have covered okay uh, basically we have covered this part but it is just adding uh, more than one classes like first class second class and this is like a, we are adding a co one common class and second class we are trying to add dynamically based on condition let's uh, discuss about this so for that uh, let's go here and let's create a one if object area c dot uh, just uh, text underscore area and And we can say text demo text one and here I just want to specify the type like primary kind of okay and same different different type secondary demo text two demo text three demo text four okay one two three four primary secondary you can say danger and one and for all this type of classes let's uh, write some css here so for primary let's say that color okay uh, till it's up to you and secondary class the green yes okay and for danger mm, color we can say orange red and for one a danger should be Red and warning can say color orange red, right? So I just want to trade this area uh, using primary, secondary, danger, warning, danger, repeat is uh, let's say that uh, let's copy this text okay let's copy this text first and i will say that this example of uh, using uh, this let me copy this paste here and after this line 
let's repeat uh, the, all this text so again we have you can use div element or you can use p tag it's up to you let's ng, ng repeat and we can say text in this array text underscore array so every time next uh, object will will be assigned into this text variable and each object has uh, these two property text and type okay and you can say ng class okay, let me uh okay let's go down below and use this p type specify ng class see inside this we can see primary and it will be like if text dot type equal to equal to primary okay. let's copy this we have secondary and let's change it to secondary and again we have danger danger and last but not the least warning let me close this okay. So that it would be visible for you so you could see uh, based on this condition text type equal to equal to primary this primary class will be added into this p element same for other secondary danger based on that text type it will add that uh, this classes so and again <laughs> instead of using this expression the better to use uh, another directive called okay make readable ng bind we can bind with this text dot the property name here text on okay. let's save it and let's check the output so you could see okay based on the condition it has added all this class um, specific p element text element like uh, this is primary and maybe this is secondary this is danger this is one okay this also you can use hmm. So if I'll use in this way, okay. So let's uh, use uh, this way also. Further, let me copy the same 
the bow view and let's copy this okay see here uh, right now we're adding this condition right but according to this we have to pass the key class one name <laughs> key two class two names for that what we can do is that just remove this condition okay okay and let's pass okay what you have to pass you have to pass text dot type control c uh, based on this type if this type will match with this key okay match key primary and this class will be added into this p element same if this type will be matched with the secondary value then this class will be added into this p element and hope let's save it okay you could see the same output as we have this above and hope you understand how we can use ng class last but not the least let's discuss about ng switch so here ng switch directives hides and shows html section depending on certain value for example you could see the example here so let's create our own example mm. okay so let me so below down here let's say that uh let me copy this example or uh, examples of okay example of using ng switch okay and for that let's use this side tag to give a horizontal line we save it So you could see the line here okay and just below i just want to use uh, this select input element and by ng model course okay and option according to this example value let's say integration okay and the label name integration and we can say back end uh, back end in the back end and front end front end okay so based on this course selection 
it will say that welcome to this course here we learn this 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 okay like that so you could see I'll select integration back by default okay let's leave it and just before uh we have a div and ng switch okay ng to use switch and we have to we'll get the value from this variable course and ng switch uh, there is one default okay switch default and here i will say that uh, the element is select the course from above to learn okay like this Okay, so please select the course from above to learn. Here you could see. Now let's copy this. If the user select ng switch a win like this, right? Okay. <laughs> when integration. So we can say here you learn about a rest soap okay etc and let's copy this integration backend Here you learn about table fields issue okay PRCS yes. workflow like this okay and copy this here you learn about portal ui ui pages virtual agent etc and mobile workspace and lots more Save it. So let me uh, remove. Uh, let me comment this. Okay. Above. So that it will be a clear picture for you. So, so you could see here in example of using in file say integration you will learn about this let's say back end okay okay I think it should be front end if I say integration it's a back end, if I say front end, then based on the selected value, it will show the element. And it is using this ng switch directive to display the content based on match condition. Like if 
the value will be integration then this part will be so if the value will be back end then this part will be so and if the value will be front end then this part will be shown to you and thank you for watching friend and hope you enjoy all this series about angular js directives